We have seen the calculations of probabilistic dynamic programming in the first two videos. Now we are going to focus on the formulation. In this example, Suncor Oil has D dollars to allocate for drilling at size 1 to T. If they spend X dollars at site T, the probability that they will find oil is QTX. So T is the site, X is the dollar that you spent at that site, and QTX is the probability that you will find oil in site T given that you already spent X dollars. And the oil from site T may be sold for RT dollars. Formulate the recursion to maximize the expected value of the oil found on sites 1 to T. The stage is quite obvious, 1 to up to big T, and the decision is also quite obvious, how many dollars you would like to allocate to site T, and this is denoted by X here. Now what is the state? Remember that if your decision is how much you would like to spend to make a reasonable decision, you should know how much you have on your hand, right? Uh, because uh, it is not wise to spend more than what you have on your hand. So the state is the amount of dollars available when we arrive at site T. We may denote this with the small d. You may also say that the state is the number of dollars available to allocate to the sites T, T plus 1, up to big T. So these two are the same. Um, so you can say the amount of dollars that are still available when you arrive at site T. You can also say the amount of dollars that you still have to spend for site T, T plus 1, up to big T. So here's the recursion for the last stage, big T. So we begin this stage with the amount of money that we have on hand is small d. Remember that big D is the total money that you have at the beginning of the problem that you may allocate to all sites. Small d is the amount of money that you have at the beginning of this stage. Okay, so you have money as much as small d. This is already the last stage. So your decision is spending all your money in this stage, right? Because this is already the last site where you can find oil. You still have money, well, you just spend them all, right? There's no use to keep those money on your hand. So we spent all money that we have to find the oil at site big T. Again, because big T is the very last site. So FTD is the maximum expected value of the oil that can be found on site T if D dollars are available when we arrive at site T. If we find oil, then we obtain the revenue of RT. If we do not find oil, we obtain zero dollars, right? You have spent money to dig, to drill the land, but there is no oil, so obviously your revenue is zero. Remember, same as before, the key is that for each of this event, you multiply it with the probability of that event happening. So if we find oil, we obtain this revenue, you multiply it with the probability we find the oil. Probability that we find the oil at site T after you spend D dollars is QTD. So this entire thing is the probability, QTD. And the probability of not finding any oil is 1 minus that. So that is the probability of not finding the oil at site T. Something multiplied by 0 is 0. So finally, you can just uh, simplify it to become RT times QTD. Now let's move backward to stage T, small t, which means that this is before the very last stage. We have FT, small t, D, which means the maximum expected 
value of the oil that can be found on side T, T plus 1 up to big T if D dollars are available when we arrive at side T. So we have D dollars, but because this is not the last stage, we will only spend X dollars. X can be between um, greater than or equals to zero or less than or equals to small d. We may spend zero on this side. We may spend everything we have. In the previous slide at the stage big T, we spent all the money that we have on hand because that is the last stage. This is not the last stage, so x can be between zero and small d. Um, because we would like to maximize the expected value of uh, the revenue. So here, if we find the oil, we obtain the revenue of RT dollars. Same as before, if we find the oil, it means that you must multiply it with the probability of the event of finding the oil. If we do not find the oil, then our revenue is zero. That's why um, we don't write anything here because zero times anything is still zero. Now, because this is not the last stage, we must uh, add this with FT plus one because FT plus one is the maximum expected value of the oil from site T plus one up to site big T. If D minus X dollars are available, when we arrive at side t plus 1. d minus x here because at the beginning we have d amount of money and then we decide to spend x in this stage so at the beginning of next stage our money will become d minus x. So I think this is quite simple but uh, uh, again you notice that the key is there is something like expected revenue, expected cost, or anything. And the key is to multiply that with the probability of this event happening. So uh, the expected revenue or cost and the probability of this event happening. Okay, so we'll go on to the next video to see another example uh, of formulating the recursion of a probabilistic dynamic programming problem.